This LEGO Star Wars set made me think LEGO was genius. And then they screwed it up. This is the LEGO Star Wars Clone Trooper Command Station. The set originally retailed for $15.99 and was incredibly difficult to find on any LEGO shelves. The set was released in 2022 and came with fantastic regular clone minifigures and one clone commander or pilot, depending on who you are. Unfortunately, this fantastic army builder set was brought to retirement at the end of 2022, giving it just barely 12 months of time on shelves and leaving a lot of fans disappointed that they couldn't get their hands on it. So why was this set genius? And why did LEGO stupidly remove it? We start with the build, which really isn't too much. It's a command station and a nice little weapons rack. For $15, you're not getting much, but the weapons rack is built fairly nicely. It only uses a few pieces, but it even has a printed slope piece. The two blasters that come with it are pretty easily removed, and they're just nice to have. They're extras that you can use with other clone battle packs, especially with all the clones that are being released these days. These are helpful. To be nitpicky here, they give you two long-range rifles and then put those candlesticks at the end. It may look good, but fitting this with a figure is, well, you can see, it's pretty bad. It's even worse when it's a challenge to keep this thing upright. You have to lean him back or he'll just fall over. By no means do I hate this weapon, but adding that piece at the end of the barrel just makes it a little too long. I do appreciate though that it looks good when it's upright. The command center here is also pretty small. While I would have preferred probably another build, this one isn't too bad. It comes with a radar antenna looking dish thing that can spin around if you wanted to. Even though that's not technically a function, you're just kind of doing it with your hand. The ramps on both sides can also move up and down and they look good enough for something so small. There's even printed consoles on the inside, which is a huge win for me since I hate applying stickers. They did a good job on this one, it's just really small, and therein lies the issue, I think. Even good reviews on lego.com give this thing a 1 on a 5 point scale for value of money, and that's no coincidence. You pay about $16 for something that ultimately doesn't have a lot of value. It's really 3 figures and a tiny little build. I still like the set, but when I found it on shelves, I was even hesitant to pay $15 for it. But I'm glad I did, considering now it's gone forever. The end of everything I love because of what he will become. And for the briefest moment of pure instinct, I thought I could stop it. But as always, the best part about any LEGO set is the minifigures. And this LEGO set is really just about the minifigures. This isn't a clone battle pack, but this is a focus on minifigs that are actually pretty good. We of course get a commander, which is properly labeled as commander this time, and two clone troopers, just basic white plain old clone troopers, and they look really good. This specific clone commander we've gotten three separate times, once in this set, once in an advent calendar, and of course once in the infamous gunship set. Taking this clone trooper at face value without considering the other implications, it's actually a really good figure. It has great arms, and while it doesn't have a ton of printing, still looks good, and the back is just solid clone trooper printing. I really like this clone, and I wish it had a better wrap. An argument for many is that something that is supposed to be meant to be building an army shouldn't include a commander clone, and I have to agree with that one. I think this clone trooper looks really good, but the fact that it's in this pack that's supposed to be purchased quite frequently just doesn't really make a lot of sense. Another regular clone or something else would have been a lot better. Speaking of the regular clones in this, they shine as some of the best phase one clones we have ever seen from LEGO. The helmet looks really great here, and while the torso is kind of a mix of the Clone Wars, it makes sense because this era would be during the Clone Wars. It just is a different art style. I see the argument why it shouldn't be here, but it honestly doesn't look as bad as most people say. The back of the trooper is the same as Commander, and it looks just as good as it did before. From a side-by-side -side comparison of the Clone Wars, you can see the bigger differences, and it actually looks a lot better. This newer one does a much better job at representing those finer details and giving us the whole look of these Phase 1 clones that it should in the Clone Wars. So even though they share similarities, the new one is no doubt better. All three of these guys also come with the exact same head and face, which is miles better than the Clone Wars version. So even though these clones came out in a pack that's a little bit too expensive, imagine those faces that we used to get then. These are just a little better. But the worst part about this set was how LEGO handled it. Not only was it scalped all the time, but it was just completely ruined when they decided to cancel it so early in its lifespan. I have to assume that either LEGO Star Wars couldn't fulfill enough orders for the set and decided to retire it, or they saw more money opportunity in sets that are higher priced with similar amount of figures. This may not be a direct comparison, but one more clone for double the price is pretty good. Now of course there are other figures and things added in this set too, but is it a coincidence that now we have to pay more to get almost the same amount of clones? I don't think so. 
To me, this LEGO Star Wars set illustrates the genius of LEGO Star Wars and making a set that's just a little too expensive, but just enough that people are still willing to pay for it and willing to buy a lot of them. But regardless of what the real reason is, I don't think this set made quite enough profit for LEGO to keep it around. And no more LEGO Star Wars sets like this again. At least, not for the meantime. Before we end off the video, I want to tell you guys about the membership program that I have on my YouTube channel now. I'm super excited to be able to offer the membership program for you to be able to experience more of what I like to do with LEGO and Halo Mega and a whole bunch of everything. It's a way for you guys to help me to make the content you love while also getting some super cool exclusive perks that you'll only be able to receive if you're a member of my channel. But with that, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about these clones in the comments down below. And if you happen to pick up this set at retail price, I'd love to hear about it. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Peace.